Three tops update series jumbo full case PYT number 31. Bounties at 1750 for a one on one platinum. Good luck. Nine times on the dice for the left, right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine times on the dice. Left time. The left side wins it. So on the cards that have. Um, two players from different teams. The left side will be the recipient. Whatever card is on the left side on the back of the card. All right. Are we getting Sterling? I have no idea. I would assume so. Don't we always get Sterling? I loved Sterling last year. I'll ask Backer. no idea. Do we usually get it? Top Sterling? Sorry, I was confused. Do we usually get it? My first box topper is Tristan. Just want to see something. to see if they fit in this top loader. But alas, they do not. Oh, it is Bowman. Oh, it is Bowman Sterling.
nice gunner on the box topper. Jordan Walker now on the box topper. Did I send out an email yet for this break? Yeah, let's send out an email. I don't think there's any tacos in this snow, Mike. Oh, you got the email already? I already sent it out? Shit. Well, I just sent it out twice. Sorry. Thank you, DJ. I wasn't sure. Sometimes the computer's screwy with it. Trout box topper. I don't think there's tacos in this, right? Am I mistaken? And our last box topper, one of my favorites, Joey Votto. Box toppers off to the side next to the silver packs in the back. And let's start cracking some packs. <laughs> Mike. I'm a little hungry too. Wifey made me some eggs this morning, but I'm still hungry. I guess it's 1 o'clock. She fed me at 7.30. Dude, soda is no good. I, I'm proud of you, Noah. There's a lot of there's a lot of sugar though in the Mexican Coke. What is it? Cane sugar or something? There's a ton of sugar though. There, I think there's more sugar in the Mexican Coke than there is in the regular in the American Coke, I thought, no? But what are you saying? It's is it maybe it's, it's cane cane syrup instead of or cane sugar instead of corn syrup? Is that is that what it is? I have a friend who's like one of the smartest guys I know, and he loves soda. That's his like one Achilles heel. I mean, I like soda, but. I don't drink it very often. It's just not good for you. It's really not good for you. I don't love it. I mean, I like it. I mean, I enjoy it. 
I like soda. I would if if I if it were healthy for you, I would drink it all the time. <laughs> but it's not. And it's not like uh, I don't know. Everybody has like their things that they that they, that they'll they're you know they're unhealthy vices so to speak. I, I have mine too. There's a lot of sugar in there. I, so so what's the plan, Noah? How are are you gonna? You're eventually gonna eliminate the soda completely. I mean, I drink like I don't know, man. Maybe like. One or two sodas a month, I guess. If that, maybe sometimes less. If it is indeed cane sugar instead of corn syrup, it probably is better, but I know there's a lot of it in there, so I don't know. I'm no, I'm not the soda doctor. I know that my mother tells me soda is, yeah, Mexican, the Mexican soda is cane sugar, right? My mother's always told me that uh, the top two things that destroy your teeth are sucking candies and soda and Red Bull. Straws are unhealthy in general. So much of what we do is unhealthy, but got to enjoy life, right? Sounds about right. I mean, Red Bull is really, that's bad. Red Bull's no good. It's not good for you. All these energy drinks, energy drinks are just so wildly popular these days. Even here at Bled's, we have a zillion energy drinks in the in the fridge. Everybody loves them, except for me. I drink coffee, so I, I can't talk, but. That's crazy, Noah. <laughs> Definitely not health class. What's up, LP? Uh, I forget, Dave. I should know. Sounds familiar. I used to drink coffee with milk and sugar. Then I took out the sugar, and then I switched from whole milk to oat milk, and now I love it. I do drink a lot of coffee, though. Listen, I'm not... I, I It sounds like I'm preaching about health, but as far as being the poster child of good health, I am the farthest thing from that, so... If I make it to 60, I'll be both shocked and thrilled. But today, we're at 41. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to make it to 42. I'm hopeful. Fingers crossed. Knock on some wood. Might be fake wood. Whatever. We'll try it. Um, let's put on our glasses and enjoy a full case of Topps Update Series Jumbo. Oh, stretch. Stretch, stretch. <laughs> I
I drink a lot of coffee, but yeah. Yeah. My dad just did that, Noah. My dad had a couple uh, small bouts with cancer and he quit smoking after smoking for like 60 years. It's actually, it was a little weird. Seeing my dad, he just, my parents just visited me. It was a little, not weird, but I noticed, you know, it's noticeable when you, when I spent time with my parents and my dad wasn't smoking any cigarettes. It's so my whole life my dad was a smoker. <laughs> Used to go to Rangers games and stand out by the escalator in intermission when he would have a cigarette. And I would watch the cabs go by. All right. Here we go. Let's start out with what I think might be a good card right away. Good luck, everybody. It's update series jumps. It's a full case. And it's going to begin right now as we get right into it. Let's wear it, as the great Sean would say. Matt Barnes on the gold foil. Gavin Stone on that unnumbered Father's Day blue to 600. It's That's the color. I don't know. It's, it's the 600. But nice card for J. Rive and the Dodgers right away. And then let's do one, two, three on the inserts. Tyler Nevin, Rainbow Foil, Drury, 2023, Action Stars of Bobby Witt, Seeger All-Star, and Vladdy Jr. on the 1988 version of the card. Man, Seeger's a stud, huh? Is Se Seeger's going to win uh, MVP, right? I mean, it, if it ended today, Seeger wins MVP, no? Um, he's he's doing good now, Noah. And yeah, I'm sorry for your loss as well. I um, he's doing good now. But you know he's old. There's Corbin on the base, and Leody Tavares, gold foil, Adley black and gold, nice. Jordan and Jeter. You know, he's in his 80s, and um, he's had a pretty full life. But I'm glad he's still here. Thank God for now. I hadn't seen my parents in over a year. It was nice to see them. Probably the longest I've gone, actually, minus COVID. Probably the longest I've gone without seeing my parents. This is the wrong box of paper. Gotta get a different box. One second here. Jason, that's really good. I'm proud of you. I quit smoking cigarettes after smoking for 20 years. Um, nice. Here's the right box. We can use this one. Like, I smoked cigarettes for 17 and a half years. I smoked a vape for two and a half years. And I haven't smoked for years now, for a couple years now. It's, and I'm very proud of myself. So, I totally... I'm proud of all you guys for quitting any addictions that you've had. I'm very proud of you. It's a big deal. If you've had serious addictions and you've gotten rid of them, it's, it is indeed a big deal. It's a big feat and an accomplishment for everybody to get over their vices like that. Grant Anderson. Mr. Anderson on the uh, gold foil. And Kyle Tucker for Houston going to the local. No number on the Major League materials, but we'll take it. I 
I, I think I've told most of you guys if you um if you like smoke cigarettes or something and you quit and you quit for like nine months I'll hook you up here on the baseball channel I'll give you some free teams or something there was a guy when I was young there was a guy when I was 21 probably there was a guy who ran a poker club who hated the fact that I smoked cigarettes and he used to tell me if you quit cigarettes You'll never have to pay rake again in my club, ever, for the rest of your life. <laughs> Pretty good financial deal, but of course I couldn't do it. <laughs> Dave. <laughs> Sadly, the answer to that one is zero. Kyle Lewis, Rainbow Foil, Zach Weiss, 2023 Aces of Don Drysdale. There's Bybee on the 88. It is a good, it is a big deal though, quitting stuff. Cigarettes are, t are hard to quit, man. They're not easy. Don't ever start. It's crazy on, I don't know, I'm not going to get political, but it's crazy in a, in a culture that is so focused on certain things. So much like mainstream obvious stuff just gets overlooked because of money. It's always all about money. It's like instead of worrying about the legality of this or that, it's like, why don't you go ban cigarettes and alcohol? You know? They only exist because of the tax money. It's not like anybody can say, oh, they, they do good things for our country. <laughs> Peraza on the rainbow foil. There's Strasbourg for the Nationals green foil to Dave Durango. To four ninety nine. You know what my dad told me? Just now we'll, we'll bring it all back to baseball since this is the baseball channel and we're opening baseball cards. You know what my dad told me the other day? Because we were talking about Scherzer and Verlander leaving the Mets and this and that. He told me that he thinks that... Scherzer, and I saw Scherzer got hurt the other day. Vince Velasquez... Gold foil, Jerickson Profar on the advanced stats to 300. Um, he told me that he thinks that Scherzer is not as good anymore because he relied on the stick'em. He thinks that certain pitchers relied on the stick'em. And he thinks Scherzer's is, Scherzer's one of those pitchers. He also thinks Musgrove is one of those pitchers. My dad's pretty sharp. For, I mean, he's a true fan like you guys. He, you know, he watches every game, all that. You know, you know how it is. You know how it is. He's probably right. All right, rainbow foil of the Phillies duo. Then shoe make to 2023 in front of a very cool card. It's Burt Blylevin. For the Twins, going to Zilla with an autograph to 25 on the Aces. See, we did, we kind of, did we know this or did we know this? Right? Right, Zilla? The Twins were literally the last freaking team available. I was on my hands and knees begging you guys to take it. Zilla was kind enough to do that. And now he gets rewarded. The whole if it sits, it hits thing is very spooky. And its consistency is... It's real. Uh, 12 out of 20, or 2 out of 25, rather. Burt, Burt Bly 11. The Ace of Clubs for the Twins on the extremely low-numbered auto. That's a cool card, Zilla. Burt Bly 11. I told you I used to sit next to his wife when I used to do game previews and series recaps for the uh, for the Yankees that was a really cool hit <laughs> Musgrove's greasy ears Yeah, relies on the sticky stuff is what I was is what what he was saying. Gunner base rookie debut.
He said that when that a handful of these pitchers that without the sticky stuff they they lost their slider. Like he thinks Scherzer's slider is nothing what it used to be. Without the sticky stuff, he thinks that the slider is not the slider you're used to seeing out of Scherzer. There's Leclerc, Rainbow Foil, and then to 299, it's Frankie Montas for the Yankees on the orange foil. Dale Murphy for the Braves, 83 most valuable player, no number on the relic piece. We'll take it, coach. Gold foil of Andrew Monastario. Freddie Furman, or Free Furman, Freddie Freeman. Much better than Freddie Furman. Dodgers on the black gold. There's Bryce on the 88. Yeah, but Cole's stats are like still good though, aren't they? Let me get some one eighties, hold on. All right, and we're back. Baby, come back. Do 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 do. Batty. Beatty, excuse me. Beatty. Oh. There's the Father's Day Blue. It's Aaron Hicks for the Orioles to unknown. On the Father's Day Blue to 50. 13 out of 50 on Aaron Hicks's Father's Day Blue. That's a nice low number there. Logan Allen Rainbow Foil to 499. It's Yuri Perez on the green foil, and then it's Gross Shans. Our auto out of box number two for Stuho and the fish. Up, 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 Benny and the Jazz.
it does feel like Groshans. I, I feel like not even Verdict. It's just Groshans. It's Groshans out of every case. Nobody signed more cards in 2023 Tops Update Series Jumbo than Groshans. Garrett Crochet, 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 Rainbow Foil, J.P. Frierson, 2023, Roy Campanella, 1951, Most Valuable Player, that's wild. It's so funny that I was just talking about Roy Campanella, because I was talking about my dad, and how he mentioned that in 1951, 1952, that the Dodgers, that their incredible lineup, that Duke Snyder was the only lefty in a lineup with loaded righties, such as Roy Campanella. He was a righty. My dad asked me the other day, he said, do you even know why my favorite player is Duke Snyder? I said, actually, I don't, Dad. He said, well, I'll tell you. He said, when Duke Snyder in 1952 went through a really bad streak, or 51 or 52, when the Dodgers, not sure if it was the Bobby Thompson 51 where the shot heard around the world. There's Betancourt, Gold Foil, Alexis Diaz for the Reds, and then Gunner Black and Gold, and Semyon. He said, um, he said that when Duke Snyder went into a really bad slump, I think it was 52 he's referring to, but. He, um, not the shot heard around the world, 51. He said that Duke Snyder was like a, he was like a crybaby about it, that he used to whine and complain when he would, you know, that he would like stomp his feet, and get all upset and get emotional when he would not get a hit. And my dad said he was a kid. My dad was nine, 10 years old. He said that he was like that too. So he could relate, he could relate to, uh, <laughs> Duke Snyder. Um, what did my dad say about the Rangers? He actually had a lot to say about the Rangers, Minty. Um, so we have family in Texas, believe it or not. And the guy is obviously a huge... My dad's cousin is a huge Rangers fan. And he said, this is cousin Michael's year. He's like, this is his moment. He goes, this is what Rangers fans have been waiting for all this time. He goes, they've had star players many times, but in the playoffs, nothing like this. There's Noah Syndergaard 2023. He basically said, it's it's your moment, you know? As far as Rangers go, this is this is this is your moment. As a Texas Rangers fan, enjoy the moment. He don't know ball. <laughs> Minty, my dad's forgotten more about ball in probably every sport than any of us will ever wish we could know. <laughs> All the sideways pieces. Andrew Nardi, gold foil. Oh, that's a gorgeous card. Alvy. It's Alvy and the Chipmunks on the black border for the Mets. Yeah, me too, Tran. Exactly. Cousin Michael, Minty Fresh, all the Ranger fans out there, this is their moment. It's a special time for them. Alvarez, black border, 72 for the Mets, going to unknown. Two out of 72. That's a nice card. Nice card. Rookie Debs. Rookie Debs of Alvy and the Chipmunks. That's how I feel about, like, when, like, the Islanders win. It's like, even though I hate the Islanders, if, like, or the Yankees, too. It's like, if the Yankees win, it's like, I'm a Mets fan, but it's like, eh, at least New York won, right? It is pretty special. It's, it is such a special time for you, Minty. 
Enjoy it, my friend. Hopefully they uh, they finish it off tonight for you. Omar Navarez on the rainbow foil. Pablo Lopez, 2023. You think they win tonight, Minty? Or you think they, or do you think they they win at the next game? I think I think it, I think it goes one more game personally. Yeah, you think it? Uh, Dram agrees with me. I think in six also. Joey Weimer, gold foil on his rookie. Not rookie debut, but rookie. And then Griffey, Will Smith, and Bryce Miller on the other inserts. That's a lack of confidence there. That you could just admit that you think it's going six with that sort of comment. That's all that means. Sosa, Edmund Sosa for the Phillies gold foil, and then we have Austin Riley, major league material of a bat piece of his, Volpe, Salvi, and Rocchio on the inserts. Gunner on the base rookie Debs. Of course, you'd rather them win tonight. Listen, everybody seems to think that they're not going to win tonight, which usually means that they do. You know, it's uh, it's always the opposite. I don't think they're going to win tonight, but what the, what the hell do I know? Corbin, there's Burleson on the rainbow foil, and then Sean Bouchard, 2023 aces. Taj Bradley, Nolan Jones, Kirby on those inserts. I think I see some sort of interesting aces here. Let's see. Bryce Miller. Yeah, I think this is. And then a gold back aces to 75. More Bryce Miller. Bryce Miller in front of himself. Completely different types of cards. Rookie gold foil and then gold back aces to 75 for Jason and the Mariners. Here's a gunner base. Rookie Dabes. Is he? He collects? He, does he? I assume he collects himself, Minty. He's good. He's a good pitcher. Batting around in the order. Rainbow foil for the Padres. Hold on. Garrett Stubbs, 2023. Jose Alvarado, gold foil. Tristan, black and gold.
batting again. This time, he's backwards for precisely no reason whatsoever. Just faking us out. Just like the rest of this handful, I guess. That was weird. That random backwards there. Corbin base. Bailey Ober. Oh, there it is. Wow. Bailey Ober, gold foil. James Caprellian. James Caprellian. Noah! Noah, you said it. You called it. You frosty dog. You did your best frosty dog impersonation just there. James Caprellian for the Oakland Athletics to TJK on the SS. James Caprellian SSP. For the Oakland Athletics. Cool picture. That was crazy. You literally called it. You just called it. Trey Turner, Major League Materials. This is the 199. Numbered to 199 for the Phillies. Then we have Corbin, black and gold. How did he know? He just knew. He was like, oh, the SSP is going to be an A, he says. He was right. Norgore, rainbow foil, Jesse Chavez on the green foil to four ninety nine. There's Julian on the eighty eight. Twins. Jesse Winker, gold foil, Sam Hilliard to 199. Braves in the red foil. Owen Miller, Rainbow Foil, Caleb Thelbar in front of Thaddeus Ward. Thelbar is the 2023 Thaddeus Ward is autographed. The on-card 1988 version of the National going to Dave Durango. Where's the game, Minty? Where's the game? If the game... I don't know. I kind of like the Mavs at that line. Bulls are bad. I think I like I like the Mavs. Bulls are a good team for uh, for Luca to ball out against. All that cane sugar. Um, I'll go with uh, LeBron, Jordan, and Kareem. 
for my three. There's Clayton's 200th win, gold or rainbow foil, 2023 of James Karinchek. And then Shohei, 2021 MVP, relic piece. Corbin, all-star game. Riley Green, gold foil rookie debut. Jordan, black and gold. Musina on the 88 from the Rochester Red Wings. Teammates with Kurt Schilling. Bird is up there. Bird's probably in the, he's in my top 10 for sure. I mean, I'm just, that's just my opinion, Dave. But I mean, Wilt is up there. Bird is up there. Bill Russell. Maybe Oscar Robinson. There's Winton Bernard and Tommy Pham. I think that I think those are my top four. Uh, I don't know. I mean, Magic is also up there, but yeah, Curry changed the game. He's the best shooter the game's ever seen. He's up there. Curry's definitely up there. Halfway point. Carlos Emilio Estevez, gold foil. Gunner base, rookie Daves. say Dirk over Larry? What? Minty. What? You feeling okay over there? You just say Dirk Nowitzki was better than Larry Bird? Are you, are you feeling okay? You okay over there? I mean, Dirk was amazing, but but yeah, I don't know about that. Dom Smith, Rainbow Foil, Vaughn Grisham, 2023. Joker is amazing. Reynolds, gold foil, and then Austin Hayes on the Black Border All-Star Game, the Joker's vision of the court is impressive. Corbin rookie debut base. Casey Schmidt gold foil and then Randy Vasquez to 199 
Red foil for the Yankees. Will Smith on the relic piece. Gabe Moreno, Rainbow Foil, Kiermaier 2023, Jordan, Last Action Hero, Julian, 88, that's your second 88, Julian. Dominguez gold foil. Oh. Norgor and then Otani. Inserts. Ah, <laughs> minty. Oh, God, I got to stretch for a second. We need to hit some big cards in this case. Oh, stretchy, stretchy. I did not drink enough Cafefe this morning. Oh. Oh. I like watching Sabonis play. I know you're talking about the dad, but I like his son too. I need this Sabonis, Stavante Sabonis. Here we go. Back to it. Let's get it, Maggio. Let's get it. We've only, we've hit three autos so far, so there should be the auto in this in this box is still yet to come. We haven't hit the auto yet in this box. Box number four. When I open a case of 2023 Tops Update Series Jumbo, I feel like. Hold on, Jose Hernandez, Rainbow Foil. There's the auto, it's Rookie. Schuster for the Braves. Devin Williams, Green Foil, and Schuster for the Braves. When I open this case, I feel like... What's that movie, Stand By Me? When the kids go looking for the dead body? With Kiefer Sutherland and... Stand by me, right? I can never if it's lean on me. Stand by me. Um, I feel like I'm those kids. I feel like I'm whatever. What is it? Corey Feldman? I feel like I'm Corey Feldman. Looking for a dead body. <laughs> Dave. You think so, Maggio? He's a stud, huh? He's your guy. Both, both your team and my team have an exciting future with our youngsters, Maggio. I'm looking forward to all the Mets, too. Schmidt looks good. I agree with that. You really like Bailey, obviously. Pat, there he is. Bailey. Patrick Bailey. Bryce Terang, Rainbow Foil, Sam Hilliard, Orange Foil at 299, and then Sandberg... On the MVP of 84. Corbin All-Star Gamer. When the night has come and the land is gone.
Tanner Bybee, gold foil rookie debut. Jeter on the blue, black, gold. Somebody punched him in the eye. They gave him a black and blue for the Yankees. It's Jason Maeda. This is unnumbered, but numbered to 600. If you know, you know. And if you don't know, you can ask me and I'll explain it. Or you could ask Fanatics why they didn't number their cards to 600 even though they're numbered. It's a conspiracy. I'll be Mel Gibson. You can be Julia Roberts. How does that sound? Conspiracy theory. Higgins. Rainbow Foil. And then Hosmer 2023. Vladdy, our last action hero. Your second 88, Brandon Fat there behind the Vladdy. I really like Brandon Fat. He's the man. talking about minty fresh fat he doesn't pronounce it fat yeah how does he pronounce it how does brandon fat pronounce his fat name fought really no minty are you just messing with me to get me to pronounce the guy's name wrong really you swear minty that you're not just messing with me It's Brandon Fought. Oh, Grand Salami confirms. Send a salami to your boy in the army confirms. So now I know that Minty Fresh is not trolling me. I mean, it's always a chance. But <laughs> I could have been trolling him when I told him the Mavs were going to cover four and a half tonight. You never know. <laughs> no, I wasn't. <laughs> Brandon Fought, huh? All right. We have a name change. Can somebody please let Brandon Fought know that he has to email Derek Dillman at shipping at .com. So we have a name change request here. We have a name change. You never, honestly, Minty, you know, the kids these days, you never know what they're capable of. With the intentional misleading. I still think it's funny. Oh, there's Gus Varlin, Rainbow Foil. Oh, 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 oh. God damn you, Kyle. Why are you always peeing in my Cheerios, Kyle? God damn it. Unknown gets Kyle Stowers, Inc. Not Adley, Inc. And not Gunner, Inc. And not Grayson, Inc. But Kyle, Inc. Maybe Kyle will be a stud. How hilarious would it be, which is never happening, but how hilarious would it be if Kyle Stowers ends up being, like, better than Adley and Gunner? It's like a 0.0% chance of that happening, but if it happened, we would be a rich family of, of, of people here because we pulled a lot of good Kyle Stowers on this channel. Jeter Downs on the Rainbow Foil, Jose Siri, 2023. And then look at that. Numbered to 75. It's the judge, and he was last year's MVP. And that's what this card says. Six out of 75 on court is in session. The Yankees going to Jason. Yeah, never say never is right. My father told me never to speak in absolutes, so he would agree with you. It could happen. I'm sorry, Kyle. You could end up being the next Michael Trout for the Baltimore Orioles. Why not? Why not, Kyle? Go hit the weights. I guess you guys have seen crazier stuff, right? Of, like, some prospect... 
just crushing it unexpectedly. So I can't see this card yet, but I feel like it's got a chance to be an AKA, and if it is, that would make me very happy. And that says AKA, which makes me very happy. Let's see who it is. Josh Young first on the gold foil, and it's Pujols, the machine. I have not... I think this is only the second time I've hit this. It's the machine for unknown. Unknown with a nice break. The machine. La Machina. For the Cardinals on the AKA. I love the AKAs. They're like one of, if not my very favorite part of this whole product. I love the AKAs. I have not seen a single one that doesn't have a cool looking card. Every single AKA looks really cool. I feel like we could just like put Will Smith's face right there and you're at the movie AI. But instead it's the machine. The AKA for the Cardinals going to unknown. I really like this card. I really do. I think it's very cool. All the AKAs are very cool to me. I think they look really appealing. I, I like unique cards and the AKAs are unique. It's like, you know what else? Okay, I'm not... I, this is like an impossible hit. Like I can't, I can't Babe Ruth this one up and just point to the left field bleachers and just hit a bomb. But you know what would make this case just dreamy? Can you guys guess what I want to see? What else do I want to see? What else do I want to see? Can you guys guess it? What do I want to see in this case? It's not an easy hit, but there's something I want to see that the AKA just reminded me of. What else does Brown Dog want to see in this case? No, that's a good guess, but not that one. I always want to see boobs, Maggio, but... We, we wait. That's like an after-work activity with Wifey. Um, not a let's go, no. I was going to... The wood is a, good, is, a good, is a good guess by Mr. Hockler, because those are really cool in here. There's Pache, Rainbow Foil, and De Jong. The 299 orange foil. Chase De Young for the Pirates. Devers, last action hero. <laughs> what I was gonna say that I wanna see is those home field advantages. The ones that look like the downtowns, those super short print home field advantages. Those things are they those things are dope as hell. I wanna see one of those. Those are really hard hits though. You you don't like I would say you get one in Several cases. It's not like a one in a case. Yeah, really hard to hit, Dave. Is right. What they're, those are just, they're such difficult hits that that's why I'm saying I can't Babe Ruth this up and just call my shot. That would be a tough. I'd be I'd be pointing, you know. <laughs> that's a tough call. But if we do hit one, I'll tell you. Ready for this here, honestly. I want to hit one so badly. Uh, this is my begging the sports card gods right here. I know it's crazy, J. Rive. They should be more. Here's if if we hit a home field advantage in the in the end of this case, I'll random away <laughs> DJ local. I'll random away forty two dollars to the to the break. Actually, how about I'll yeah I'll do I'll do forty two dollars to the break if we can find a home field advantage in the rest of this case. So hopefully we can get lucky and hit one. There's Mitch Garver, gold foil, Grant Anderson to 72. Look at that, a leg kick of the rookie for the Rangers going to Mike Permany. Black border rookie of Grant Andy. Black border. Very nice, number to 72. 72 out of 72, last in the print. So basically they did what they did with Bowman and Victus, and that's why nobody liked them, is they overprinted them initially, and now nobody cares, even though they've made them 
exceptionally short print now. They're so nice. I feel like they need to just change it up. Maybe they need to put it in a different product. There's Josh Lowe, Rainbow Foil. And 2023. I thought I was seeing double there for a second. Um, they need they need to find a way of like it's such a shame that they overproduced them in the past because they're such dope cards. Maybe they need to put them in a different product and make them extremely short print. They should make a chrome version. Do they make a chrome version of those home field advantages? They should make a chrome version. What's wrong with them? What are they doing? What is this? What is this? <laughs> Who are you? I am. Um, yeah. <laughs> Could that work? Could that, like, save the card? If they put it in a different product and they made it super short print? Could that save it? James McCann, Gold Foil, and Loiza. Loiza. Red Foil for the Yankees to 199. I don't know which legend ones you're referring to. Nice low numbers in this case, but one, two, three, four. We have the auto coming still. Show me the money! Come on, give us a good auto. Give us a slamming auto. I want a black border auto. I want a black border auto. Give the brown dog a black border or better auto. Come on now. Come on. Aldemis Diaz, Gold Foil, Josh Young, Blue All Star Game. This is a nice looking card. Numbered but unnumbered to 600. If you know, you know. Rangers having a good break. There's Alexis Diaz again on the relic piece and time spanning tandems of Cal Ripken and Gunner. They're both on the Orioles, but if they weren't, we already did the random, and it's left. So hypothetically, it would go to Cal. But since we already... Ooh, there's Gunner. Since we already did the random, and those are both Orioles, it's irrelevant. I just wanted to show you guys, for purpose of example, if you're curious whether or not one of these cards are going to you, that has two players from two different teams on it. So there should be an auto in this handful. Come on. Show me the money. Volpe Foil. Rainbow Foil for the Yankees. And Patrick Corbin to $4.99 on the green foil. Gunner Action Star. Kyle Tucker, Mash Mervis. Is there no auto in this handful? Did I miss it? Am I missing something here? Here's Gunner Base. Don't they give you one auto a box? Did I put it in the wrong pile? Did I put it in the wrong pile? I thought there was one auto a box. They might have shorted us an auto, boys. Sure there are. We have to find them though, Mr. Hockler. I don't know where they went. They're hiding. They're hiding. We gotta find them. Where's the Did I miss it? I don't think they gave them. They shorted us one auto, I guess. Oh well, all right, let's keep going. Last box mojo, maybe there's two autos in this last box or something.
Urena Rainbow Foil, Gabe Moreno 2023. Beatty Action Hero, Action Star. The last Action Hero. Corbin Base, rookie debut. Tyler Nevin, I'm assuming that's Phil's son. Gold foil for the Tigers. Vladdy Jr. And Strider and Gavin Stone on the inserts behind him. He was a good player. Did he play third base, Bills? I think he played third base. No, we don't do that over one auto, J Rive. We can send you an empty box if you want it, but we're not gonna. I'm, I'm, we're not gonna ask for an auto. It's common enough practice for them to short us by accident. Caleb Hamilton on the silver foil, rainbow foil, Vince Velasquez, 2023. We're always happy to send you empty boxes and stuff. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure if you were serious or not. I didn't want to... <laughs> sorry. I honestly didn't know. I, I wasn't sure. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was like, shit, well, I guess we can send this guy an empty box if he wants to put it in the claim. <laughs> I think Phil played third base. All right, come on. Well, don't short us an auto in the last box is all I know. Don't give us four. At least give us a fifth. There's LeClerc on the gold foil and Posey Adley on the blue time-spanning tandems. That's unnumbered but numbered to 600. If you know, you know. And like I said, the left already won the random. So I'll look at the back of that card. It's whoever is on the left-hand side of the back of the card which is usually the same way as the front, but it that's what my ruling is. Whoever's on the left-hand side of the back of the card. Hernandez, gold foil, and then Caprellian to 300 on the advanced stats for Oakland. I mean, that's a good idea, Dave, but they're not going to, you know. Freddie Freeman, relic piece for the Dodgers, Major League Materials. Yeah, exactly. It's also, it doesn't help them at all. It doesn't help them. It just costs them money. It's also, it's not on their, it's not their priority. Tyler and Alexander, for the Tigers and the gold foil. Soto, black and gold. It just doesn't fit their narrative, Dave, but it's a good idea in theory. Doyle rules. Rainbow foil. And there's our last auto. It's Riley Green. Nice. A very good one. Bryant Beard gets a solid last auto here. 
in box number six, Riley Green Rookie Inc. of the 1988 variety. Excellent hit. Excellent hit for our auto here in the sixth and final box. The other good news, guys, is that we have the silver packs. Yes, we do, because I saved them for the end. So we got all those sexy silvers ready to be opened. Hopefully we can find some huge cards in there. Huge cards incoming silver pack time is soon. I do all the time, Jason. I forget about the silvers when I'm like doing this break. And then like two thirds of the way through the break when I'm like two boxes away, I'm like, oh shit, got those silvers. Got that good, good. Jose Alvarado, rainbow foil. Candelario to four ninety nine on the green foil. And then Jackie Robinson on the MVP of 1949. Wow, that's crazy. Jackie Robinson was the MVP two years before the shot heard around the world. That's so crazy to think about the fact that my dad got to see Jackie Robinson play, like, live. That's crazy. I always forget about that. So I see something interesting up ahead. Please be a glitch and give us our missing auto. I'm not going to hold my breath, but I'm hopeful. Yarbo, gold foil, and then Tatis to 299 with a black border from 1988. The year was 1988. Tatis was wearing his City Connect jersey in San Diego. Now, the year was definitely not 88, but this card makes it look like it was. Zilla and the Padres on the black border to 299. All right, Maggio, we're going to have to go find out what's in those silver packs to hit you your card. Let's find a big one for the Giants and Maggio. Silver pack style. It's like uh, Psy or whatever that guy's name is. It's a kingdom style. It just pops out. <laughs> you gotta go like that with the silver packs. I didn't see the Dynasty case last night. The card is a liar? Which card is a liar? Which card is, which card do you throw? The Tatis card? Yeah, I know. 1988 City Connect, right? Mm-hmm. Connor Wong, Rainbow Foil, batting around in the order 2023 for the Padres. Harris, Guriel Jr., and Matty O. Our last three inserts before we get to the Silvers. I I'll tell you who to pick up, Efro. I told you the team is good, dog. We drafted a really good team. All right, just give me one second, guys. I just want to organize the color just a little bit. 
Just a little bit of a love for you. Just um, so the recap is extra clean and crispy. Do 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 do. This is the rhythm of the night My love Oh yeah And we're all organized now, boys. Look at that. Look at that. Look at the big brain on Brad. All right, here we go. Honestly, I'm expecting something really hot. In this case, in the in these silver packs, I'm expecting greatness. You want to know why? I'm gonna tell you why. Because they shorted us a damn auto, and they gave us no numbered autos in this case. So that means there must be a numbered auto in here, in these silver packs. We're gonna find it right now. Good luck as we do that. Cody B, Sanga, Mike Harris, and Wade Boggs on. Silver pack numero uno. There's color. It's green. Yoshida on top. Nice. Of Zilla. For Zilla. Severino, Joey Weimer, and a green rookie of Tanner Bybee. There you go, J Rive. Your guy. That's who you're looking for for the Guardians. Bybee, 49 out of 99 on the green. Mojo Silver Pack style. We'll take that. We'll take that. Oh, more color. I see blue in the back. There's Jose, Canseco, Swaggerty, Bryce Miller, and a blue with an orange border. It's Blake Snell for the Padres. Padres get a piece for Zilla. 106 to 150 on the number. Cody B, Sanga again, Harris and Wade Boggs, as if we've never seen that collation before. More blue, more cowbell, Julio, Jimenez, Tommy Glavin, and a blue Met. It's Gary Carter. Great picture, by the way, for unknown to 150 on Gary Carter. 52 to 150. Come on, give us a silver pack auto. A print line through this pack, but you could probably get that removed. The straw man, Conseco, Swaggerty, and Bryce Miller on our collation. Yoshida, Severina, Weimer, and Volpe. We didn't know who the fourth card was in the collation, but we knew the first three. 
More purple here. Purple now. Brooks Robinson. Bobby Miller. Yuri Perez. And a purple rookie named Shintaro Fujinami. So the Athletics get the SSP. And they also got a purple Shintaro. Here you go, TJK. Numbered to 75, by the way, on the Silver Pack Purple. Glaber, Jose Abreu, Veritek, and Widwicky Wesnecki for the Cubs. Ben Joyce, there's Adley. Logan Allen and Estri Ruiz. Nice pack of rookies. Volpe, Brooks Robinson, Bobby Miller, and Yuri Perez. Last pack, our last chance to get an auto in the silver pack. Come on. Glaber, Jose Abreu, Veritek, and Woodwicky. We're going to end with a dupe pack. That was like more dupes in those silver packs with the collation than I'm, I'm used to. We got a handful of color in those silver packs, but no ink and a few too many dupes on the collation. Not thrilled with that. With that said, it wasn't terrible. Could have been worse. Let's do a recap through all the good times. The box toppers were Joey Votto, Trout, Jordan Walker, Gunner Mookie, and Tristan. The unnumbered relic pieces. Unnumbered. Jackie, Sandberg, Shohei, Roy Campanella, and Dale Murphy on the MVPs. Freddie, Freeman, Major League Material, Kyle Tucker, and Will Smith as well with Austin Riley. Alexis Diaz times two, I believe. Yep. On the last type of relic piece of the all-star variety then we had some numbered stuff some of the numbered stuff doesn't have a number if you know you know gavin stone josh young adley and buster posey that'll go to buster and the giants they won the random on the left left hand side so the giants gets this blue time spanning tandem for maggio and then Jeter, those are unnumbered, but numbered to 600, if you know, you know. Yuri Perez, Candelario, Corbin Strasburg, Williams, and Jesse Chavez. Those are the 499 in the green foil. Jerickson, Profar, and James Caprellian on the advanced stats to 300. Chase DeYoung, Hiller, Hilliard, Montas, all to 299. Tatis Jr. and Austin Hayes, also both to 299 on the black. And then Randy Vasquez. Starts our red foils to 199. Trey Turner to 199 in the Major League Material bat piece. Gary Carter to 150 as well as Blake Snell. Bybee to 99. Shintaro to 75. Judge as well to 75 on the MVP. Bryce Miller to 75 on the Aces. Gold Aces. And then Grant Anderson and Alvarez for the Mets there on the black border to 72. Aaron Hicks on the Father's Day to 50. And we had a few more hits here. We had a few autos and we had a couple super short prints. Kyle Stowers, Schuster, Ward, and Groshans are autographs with Burt Blylevin at to 25 with ink on the Aces for the Twins. The last team on the board. Riley Green. One, two, three. Oh, we got six autos. I thought they shorted us an auto, but I must have forgotten the Bly 11. Oh, so we didn't get shorted an auto. That makes me happy. Riley Green Auto. Wow. Somehow I miscounted. I thought we had five, but we, uh, we had six. So that's great. And then the machine on the AKA for the Cardinals short print, and then James Caprellian on the super short print for Oakland. Nice hits. Tops update series jumbo. Full case. PYT number 31. Uh, the bounty goes up. Thank you for joining. That was a break.